Good evening, councillors. Good evening, officers, and good evening to those of you watching at home. Tonight is our licensing committee meeting. Um, I'm standing in for councillor Ben Price, who uh, unfortunately isn't well this evening. Item one on the agenda this evening is apologies for absence, and obviously from what I've just said, you can gather that Ben Price is apologies. We've also had apologies from Jason Jones. Do we have apologies from anyone else to submit? No, we do have Councillor John Wade missing tonight. It may be that he's delayed in traffic and that he may be with us as the evening progresses. So, apologies for absence dealt with. We move on to agenda item two, which is the declarations of interest. Does anybody have any declarations of interest this evening to declare? Thank you very much. Moving on to the main item, well, the only item on the agenda is the Street Trading Policy 2024 to 2026. And I'll hand over to the Assistant Director of Growth and Regeneration for that. Thank you. Um, thank you, Chair, and good evening to everyone. Um, I would like to hand over to Sarah Gear, who's going to just do a brief presentation. Um, we did present at committee a month or two ago. Um, we were asked to go away, do a bit of fact-finding, come back and justify a few things. So hopefully we've done enough this evening to do that, and we can talk through the policy and the recommendations in due course. So, Sarah, if you'd like to just talk us through, um, that would be brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Anna. Tamworth Borough Council is the licensing authority responsible for considering applications for a range of activities that require a street trading consent under Schedule 4 of the Local Government Miscellaneous Provisions Act 1982. The Council has adopted the provisions of Schedule 4 to regulate street trading and allows the Council to set a policy, conditions and fees. There is currently no policy in force for these activities and it is considered necessary and appropriate for such a policy, policy to be prepared, consulted upon and published. The draft policy sets out Tamworth Borough Council's approach for managing street trading in the borough in order to ensure that applications for this type of authorisation are considered and determined in a fair, consistent and transparent manner. <clears throat> Furthermore, in order to facilitate a street trading regime, streets within the borough need to be designated consent streets. Members are asked to consider whether to designate the whole of the borough or to exempt certain areas. And further details are contained on page six of the draft policy. The draft policy was presented to this committee on the 17th of July, 2023 and the committee resolved that the policy be referred back to the officers to find out where the initial instruction came from and speak to the current relevant portfolio holder about whether the policy is still relevant. If it is decided that it is still relevant, this is supported by some statistical evidence. Attached to Appendix 2 to the report is the background information requested. We also have Councillor Martin Summers, Portfolio Holder for Environmental Health and Community Partnerships in attendance, should the committee have any further questions. The committee is asked to recommend that the draft street trading policy be approved for public consultation and also to consult on the proposed area of consent. Thank you. Thank you. Do we have any questions? No questions at all. I'm just pausing to... Councillor Clements. Chair, um, obviously I was happy with the, with the draft policy last time and I think we, were, we just asked our officers to go away and check for things like Rotary and Royal British Legion and how that would work with only being able to have so many licences per year. Having read the report, I believe that's now all been, um, been added into the report. So um, I can't remember what other questions were asked from other members now, um, but I think those were the main issues that myself and Councillor Kingston um, asked about because we do more than one or two street collections a year and we have more than the designated members 
out on certain street collections as well. So I have no further questions and I'm happy to, um, for it to go to public consultation. Thank you. Um, this is the street trading policy. Am I right in that? Not the street collection policy. Not the charity. Yeah, so the charity one was in a previous meeting, I think. So street, collect street collections we've dealt with. So just to refocus a little bit, this is the trading policy. If you remember, the debate was about ice cream vans. I thought I had to get that in after our last meeting. Um, has anybody else got any questions or observations on the policy? Councillor Oates, Co uh, Coates. Thank you, Chair. Um, obviously, looking through the policy, with the same cost as Litchfield, they have their markets on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Saturdays. Is there any movement on that to try and encourage their traders to come to us for the same price? This is for street trading consents. It falls outside the market charter. So those markets that you refer to will be operating as a market under official market charters. Um, this regime is separate to that. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions, comments or observations? Well then, shall we have somebody to recommend the motion? Councillor Clements is happy to recommend and Councillor Wadrup is prepared to second. Right, okay. So it's just the recommendation that we are putting forwards then. So that has been proposed by Councillor Clements and uh, just to clarify the recommendations are to consider the options in relation to the areas to be considered consent streets and determine which should be consent areas and that the committee note the content of the draft street trading policy. So that's we've got to um, consider the options and um, decide which areas should be the consent areas. So are we going to go for the whole borough or are we going to go for three streets or are we going to go for the town centre? This is really down to you chaps to come up with what you recommend. Yes, Councillor Clements. Um, I've just remembered it was I think we discussed um, areas around the arms houses at the last meeting um, and obviously because of being where it is we thought that that was not appropriate maybe to have um, street trading so for me that would probably be the only one that we didn't have in but um, I don't think there's anywhere else. We already do St Editor, we already do Market Street, George Street, so I think the arms houses, just because of the people living there and what they already put up with, um, was one that we thought wasn't quite appropriate. I'm happy for other members to comment on that. Any other comments? Because we would then be looking at a policy that just applies to around the arms houses. Just to clarify, okay, so are we going to go with then, here's an idea for you, Tamworth Borough Council has designated all streets within the borough as consent streets with the exception of the A5 dual carriageway which is designated as a prohibited street. There are no licensed streets in Tamworth. So really the recommendation is everywhere except the A5 bypass. Are we happy with that? Yeah, it, the arms houses is, is, is a given because all the, that's counted as all of the borough. So the arms houses would be part of that. Are we happy with that? Is that what you're after, ladies? That I'm being asked, do we want to include the castle grounds? Well, I would have assumed it would be by that. I very did. Yes, I mean, that might be an idea. If the rec 
think just in the report from last time, if I recall, we did mention that we'd engaged with arts and events uh, because obviously there are a lot of events that are carried out in the castle grounds. So we had a consultation with them and they were most concerned that they, if you recall, that um, they struggle already to get traders to the grounds to carry out the events that the council wants to have. So they were most concerned that if we designated the castle grounds as part of the consent area, that that could have an implication on potentially running some art, uh, some arts and events. Um, we did look at that and we obviously thought there's a potential if you um, exempt that, that that could be seen as sort of just in the interest of the council. However, the council also actually rents out the castle grounds to independent event organisers who would also benefit. So that would be a, like a very much a 50-50 fair. It's a cost issue. Yes, it's very much a cost issue to them, so obviously from the point of view of them trying to put on events and then trying to attract traders, if traders are being charged already by the council to come and then they're get, having to get consent from another part of the council, this could have quite an impact on potential events and therefore trade as well. Um, so that might be something you may want to consider as an area for exemption. Thank you for the clarification. Councillor Jay. Um, it's really hard to hear you here, so I'm going to ask a few questions just to clarify what I heard, and then I'll ask you my question. So if a private person or a business rents the castle grounds, they have to apply for consent at the moment and pay a fee? <clears throat> they have to pay arts and events, a rental for the castle grounds area at the moment. If this comes in and you haven't exempt the castle grounds, then that organiser will also have to pay, all, all the traders will have to pay um, a consent as well. So they would be exempt if you exempt the castle grounds, as would Tamworth as an organiser themselves of any events at the grounds. So is this, I still don't get it, is this an addition to someone who privately rents the castle grounds at the moment? Yes. It's addition, right? Can we do something that's different if it's a council event or a private event? No. Okay, so in that case, got there, thank you. I think we, sh we shouldn't be doing it for the category. We shouldn't do anything that risks impacting events in our town. Absolutely not. Councillor um, Maycock. So, so what would happen with, um, I don't know, like the Christmas light switch on? Would everybody then have to apply? Because it wouldn't be a market day, would it? it that be a separate event up and down the streets? So everybody would have to apply for a, a consent then. Councillor Jay? Which just proves the point that's a ter that would be, I think would be, would be terrible um, and impact it. So I think town centre and castle grounds and arms houses. Was that? Yeah, they shouldn't, they shouldn't be in it. So just to clarify then, so we talked about the whole of the borough, apart from Sounds like a scene out of Monty Python, doesn't it? You know, um, apart from the castle grounds, the town centre, except the area around them, arms houses. Yes. Are we happy with that? Did you get that, Tracy? Yep, we got that. Go on. I just need a definition of the town centre because that means lots of things to lots of different people. So. How do we want to deter d d determine what is the town centre, Councillor Cooper? Uh, for me, the town centre would probably be defined as obviously the castle grounds and then St Edifice Square, any sort of entertainment space that we have where we usually put on um, um, sort of entertainment functions. Obviously recognising that Future High Street Funds is, is, uh, is doing a lot of work in around St uh, Edifice Square and that, that will become quite a you know, busy uh, uh, entertainment space. That for me would be, de uh, would be the definition of the, of the spaces we're talking about. Just so we've got clearer delinear lines, I think if we we go too too far into it, we, we risk uh, this really becoming a Monty Python sketch. Thank you. Um, does that help clarify the town centre area? I mean, if we want to name streets, we could name... <laughs> Councillor Jay. Can we um, propose that officers designate the streets and delegate authority to the portfolio holder to you know, a, a, approve that or something, rather than bringing it back here again. A wise suggestion, yes. I mean, just to clarify that we are going out for consultation. 
as well. So this isn't the decision. This is just where we think we want to take the consultation and then it will be um, out for, for public consideration. Mr. J. So I think if we really want to name streets, we can do it on the map now. I think it's very easy, but I think outside this meeting, it's easy enough to do, I think. Absolutely. Ask, are you happy, Martin? <laughs> yeah. Are you happy with it? Oh. I'm smiling, aren't I? <laughs> um, yeah. Um, it, it's, I think over at the Castle Grounds is a, a, a little bit more concentrated of an area and it's, it's quite temporary, whereas you know, the policy is going to be taking into account people who are using the, the town centre area and, and the whole borough you know, more, on a longer term basis, isn't it? So that's what you've, you've got to think about. I, I, I agree with you on the arms houses. Um, maybe more will come up in the consultation. But um, yeah, castle, uh, the actual castle grounds generally. But I'd be careful about um, the, the inner town centre. Um, because you could have unintended consequences. I mean, uh, you, you've, um, you've mentioned what goes on underneath this building. Um, you know, we have market stalls underneath here as well. We don't want to, you know, exempt everywhere within the inner town centre because, you know, you get people just sitting up where they like. Um, and I don't personally like to see underneath this building used for what it is used for. So um, that's what I would say be cautious of um, when, when you're thinking of exempting any areas from the policy. Okay, any other comments or observations? So the proposal is to recommend we go out to consultation mm -hmm. and the streets are defined as the whole of the borough apart from the castle grounds, the town centre to be determined by officers exempting the area around the almshouses. No, Councillor Jay? To be determined by officers and approved by the portfolio holder. And approved by the portfolio holder, there we go. Okay, is that, well, we've still got the same people proposing and seconding that. So, uh, Councillor Clements and Councillor Wadra. Okay, all those in favour? Carried. There endeth tonight's meeting. Thank you very much everyone and thank you the viewers at home.